There has always been harassment online. Before multiplayer video games, there was the internet. And before that, there were prank calls. Before that, there were telegrams. And then before that, there were just people openly telling everybody that they were stupid to their face. However, back to the topic, there has always been harassment in one way, shape, or form. Harassment comes at everyone at every age, unfortunately. While there has always been harassment, you know what has never helped? Pretending to be the victim. So my sister and I grew up playing video games. When we were not running over hookers in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, we were playing Call of Duty. At the time of Grand Theft Auto, my sister was like seven and I was nine, if that puts anything out there for you. We started getting into multiplayer games in Modern Warfare 2. We have heard it all in those lobbies, and if anyone were to hear those lobbies nowadays... Their skin would probably crawl off their backs from all the hate. My sister and I learned at a young age that you just don't go out into these lobbies and make it apparent that you are a female. Now granted, what these people said to us never bothered us and honestly made us laugh more than anything. We were cursed at, received death threats, and all sorts of other verbal abuse at the ages of 13 and 15. Again, the shit talking was funny because most of the time it was from people that were legit trash pandas at the damn game and they were getting wrecked. But that is enough history. Long story short, I have developed a pretty thick skin when it comes to video games and can't stand it when someone wants it easy because of them being a female. So let's set the scene. It's 2020, COVID is sucking major poo-poos, and my husband and I are controller swapping while the goobs is down for the sleeps. We are playing on his account and just slaying it. It was my turn and I was either first or second in all of the scoreboards during our session of hardcore team death matches. I got into this match on the shoot house map in Modern Warfare that just came out. This is the 2019 version, if you will, since the names are oh so original. My gameplay and attitude this night was super spicy. I was playing and happened to notice that the enemy team was playing like ass. They would charge at everyone on my team with riot shields or use sniper rifles. We in turn used RPGs and counter snipers that seemed to do better and we won. The first match was quick and once we got into the lobby it was pretty apparent that they were all toxic and bitter about their loss. All of their mics were going crazy about how people on my team were cheating. I don't know if that was true but honestly we didn't need to cheat to win that one. Bum rushing this bomb with riot shields? Yeah, that's going to make it easy for anyone. During the setup in the lobby for the next match I get a message from a player that was on the enemy team of the previous match. This player was a high ranked player but played like a legit dingleberry during the last match. The message read, Please don't kill me anymore. I'm a girl. Go easy on me. Of course, I wanted to reply and tell this player that I was a female too, welcome to the clan club, and then go with something along the lines of get good, you scrub. But my husband told me not to. So I didn't. This situation really bothered me because I know for a fact that after this message got sent, this person became a target for not only my team in the next match, but the enemy team as well. They had sent this message to everyone, and some people were calling the player out in the lobby before the match even started. This player got maybe five kills, but was blasted from both sides. Everyone on the enemy team had a friendly fire kill for this player at least once. The kill feed was blowing up with this player's name. Now, mind you, I didn't target this person and seek them out. This player kept finding me and coming at me with the riot shield only to get either flanked and meleeed or blown away with an RPG. What this player did was state that they were a female wanting mercy and then continued to play a game that focuses on slaying the enemy team. Maybe this was just a child, but some life lessons need to be learned by experience. The reason that this bothered me was a simple fact. This player wasn't fooling anyone and still got their shit kicked in by everyone because of how they played. Then to add insult to injury, they outed themselves and became even more of a target. Thank God it wasn't search and destroy or that person's mental health would have been destroyed as well by all the verbal abuse since there were more people with mics in that mode. When you want to get good at a game, you have to work for it in one way or another. Am I a champion player? No, but I don't cheat and I don't beg people to go easy on me because I'm a female. This is a lesson that I feel everyone should learn at some point. On top of all this, this instance fuels the many stereotypes that women already have labeled on them in the video game industry and or in the video game communities. This player left after the second match and hopefully they have gotten better and have learned that begging will not work, especially in a game like Call of Duty. This person easily could have been a troll wanting reactions, but it may not have been the reactions that they wanted. This doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's frustrating. So lesson of the day, don't use your gender or disposition to receive mercy on a video game. Most multiplayer games have a large community that is sometimes a cesspool of toxicity, and when you out yourself like that, you basically fall into said cesspool and come out looking like the Joker. Online harassment isn't fun, and if you don't want to be harassed, then 
Don't out yourself like that. You do yourself dirty more than anyone else in situations like that. If you want the game to get better, work for it like everyone else. Nobody should be getting handouts. That is the only way games will ever be fair as much as they can be. If you aren't good at a game or the game seems hard and it frustrates you, maybe it's a game that's not for you or something along those lines if you're not willing to work for it. Just work for it like everyone else and don't use your gender to get an easy win. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't be cheaters, by the way, and I will see you all next time.